So let's kind of talk about Vets football. Um, there's uh, been a few rumblings um, and uh, a few people have actually come to me personally and, and have said that they're not happy in terms of how the fixtures and the format uh, has actually been laid out in, in like Vets football. Uh, there are like some teams that, that now do not have a game for two to three weeks and uh, there's like a few teams already that have played their home and away fixture already. We are just in October and the league is supposed to run until April, May. Uh, Jamal, I'd love to kind of get your opinions on, on like why this is happening and, and actually what we can do to actually make Vets football a better experience for uh, the players and also for the league. You got to remove limits. You got to remove limits. There's there's too many limited, lazy people in football right now. People who just like to like to have things set up for them already, like a format. You know, stuff teams in a division play each other twice. You press a button, the, the computer comes up with all the fixtures. You communicate the fixtures out. Bang! You can you 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 create a set of rules. Tell everyone if you break them, you find them, and we'll wait towards the end of the season to see who wins. Put on some cup finals, then we take a break and then we just do it again. Um, people really have to look outside the box and create. If you look at, there's a, there's already forward thinking people involved in the business in, in vets football. So um, obviously yourself right at the forefront. Um, if you look at, I'm just, I'm just looking at people who are trying to be forward thinking and, and, and create no limits. If you look at uh, charcoal, charcoal created the shield where they, you know, the London cup winner plays the Kent cup winner. You know, we need more of that. Um, People are independent. I remember um, people are independent saying, you know, what happened to the people are independent, Lambeth and LSU saying, what happened to the, the national vets competition? So clearly there's a thirst, there's a demand for that again. Um, and then you have uh, Conway wanting the London Vets Ballers League. You know, it's a similar format, but at least you now they're trying something new. Then um, Blue at Shebu and John Eager at Bonnet come together. They created Bonnet League. The Bonnet Senior League now have two vets divisions. So you know, you need those are the sorts of people who are driving the future of vets football. So, getting into the mind of a veterans player, whether it's uh, an, an ex pro, semi pro coming down and just wants to keep active, whether it's uh, um, a man in his uh, 30, um, mid to late 30s, for early 40s, who had a lot of children in his 20s, wasn't able to play in his prime, so he wants to come back and sort of uh, recreate that prime with all those years he's missed now that his children are older. Whatever it is, we have to make sure we suit people from all different types of, of, of backgrounds, not ethnic backgrounds, but, you know, sort of sort of um, life lifestyle backgrounds. And the best way to do that is to come up with more creative formats. I have an incredible amount of different types of formats. The problem then is, uh, you know, you're trying to change things too much, you know, but it doesn't really matter if people... Are willing to experiment we got to experiment and so we'll see how it is the whole september to may or august to april mentality is is a bit dry you know it's very very old we don't necessarily have the quality of facilities or the access to affordable facilities to just do that when you do august to april you know between november and february you know your matches can be severely disrupted as a result of weather so you know i i do think that the main answer to your question is we have to remove limits. People have got to be willing to be forward thinking and creative to come up with new formats. I think the Woolwich and Elton just released that they're doing, they're combining their top two divisions uh, at open age, and then they're all going to play each other once. And then, um, then after that, they'll split the table, split the, the tables. And then however the tables are split, kind of like they do like in the, in the SPL. And then, then those other teams will play each other again. You know, you, you got to come up with more creative. I think it needs to be more, either more cup competitions or more Champions League style cup competitions and or more tournaments. I don't care what anyone says. Almost everyone has gotten into the sport being a youngster playing in tournaments. You very rarely speak to someone who's in their 30s and say, oh, do you, do you remember that under 11 league game you played in? No, you remember that tournament that you went to the South Coast for or that tournament you went up to North London for or, you know, so I think there needs to be more tournaments. I know it's difficult to organize especially facilities-wise and so on and so forth. But, 
you know, come on. But um, the but the answer to your question, we have to reduce. There's too much limits. Too much. Too much limited people. Too much people who just want to financially benefit of grassroots football without pushing the barrier to I- I- improve the the quality of the service. Southern Vets Football League is is one of the biggest leagues in South with with seven divisions. Seven. Seven vets divisions. That's incredible, by the way. That's amazing. That is that is really impressive. That's really impressive. Do you think? Well, first and foremost, that uh, there like should be a lot more competition um, within South regarding setting up another vets league. Um, is that something that, that could happen? And I'd love to get your your um, advice or actually one like tip that you could give to anyone on the committee at the Seven Vets football league to actually improve the league uh, well as a as a county fa employee we judge the quality of a league services well, the main metric we use is by the number of complaints we get um, i don't remember getting a lot of complaints about the the southern vets league last season we got, i got a couple but you know every league's gonna get complaints for instance uh with a youth league that we have uh, I've, I've gotten some three very, very detailed complaints from parents. Now I have to go have you know some very difficult conversation with those parents that are going very, very deep into some 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 pretty serious issues. Um, you know, so Southern vets, I haven't really got a lot of complaints. I haven't, I don't know. So unless you're telling me there's a bunch of teams who are really dissatisfied with that league and are afraid of coming forward, you know, I suppose the only fear that I can see that people have is that league does have a bit of a, of a, a monopoly in South London, but that's not really their fault. You know, I, I, I don't know of them you know, stopping other leagues from forming. No, no one's trying to form another league in South. So what are they supposed to do is, you know, some, some, some monopolies in business, you know, almost every single time a business is about to start up, they buy it or, you know, they, they, they go and buy some rats and put it in the kitchen and make them fail an inspection or, you know, I, I don't, I don't think, I've never heard of, I'm trying to choose my words carefully here because I don't, I don't know if the Southern Vets League are doing that. Maybe they, I don't know. I've never, I've never heard it. I've never heard it. No one's, no one's mentioned it to me. So, um, Southern Vets League, as far as I'm concerned, have been quite forward thinking. Uh, They've been trying to do some things to to get more refs. They've, um, there were some complaints a few years ago about their cup final facility. So they got in touch with me and I made sure that they they got, they got to use Bromley. Um, so, you know, th- th- those are good signs of a, of a league who are willing to not only open their mind, but also to spend more as well. Um, but at the same time, if people want different formats, cool. For me, as a player, I always got attracted to a league format that has a playoff end towards it. Because trying to win the league outright statistically is almost impossible, especially when you're in semi-professional football or professional football and there's money involved if a team have a budget of 80 grand a week and your team only have a budget of six grand a week well, what do you expect to happen the quality of player they can attract so that's why a playoff system would increase the chances of of of, of nicking the fifth spot or the sixth spot however however low the playoffs come down to and go from there other than that it's just, you just play for the cup competitions league is just practice league is just practice don't get relegated and league league football is just practice for your cup competitions and no matter what you do for those clubs who don't either want to enter a lot of cups or um, j- just don't enter a lot of cups, you know it's bad when a team enter two cups, maybe a league cup and a county cup, and they get knocked out in the first round of both. It's like, oh, all we have to look forward to now is the league, you know? And it's just like, uh, yeah. So uh, I think the, the first way of thinking is, oh, well, what can we do to change? Well, <laughs> the first thing you do to change is, actually think about a change you know there are so many different types of league formats out there um and you know that's why i you know I, the, the sfl came to me years ago before it even started said what other options do we have for for formats and i gave them loads of different formats you know you don't have to stuff everybody into one division and play each other twice home and away you don't have to that that's a premier league format that, that's for professional football so both teams can fill up their stadiums to make more money you know, when you're in the pay as you play football, when every single time you play, you have to pay. You don't have to do that. You can have more cup competitions. Have more cup competitions. Have the winners have to create the old school cup winners cups, the old school UEFA cups. You know, uh, the, the 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 UEFA Super Cups, and have all the winners of the cups 
play each other in a, in a tournament or a knockout cup or a group stage. Have some group stages and cups. I think, you know, everyone says, oh, league football is the bread and butter. It's easy for you to say that when you have one of the strongest sides in the division. When you know your team isn't strong enough or you don't even have a keeper, you know you aren't going to win a league. You are playing just for exercise and just to meet up with the mates and have a bit of banter. You know, you know you have no no type, no no chance of winning the league. With the Cups, even with the London Cup, you know the London Cup is a brutal competition, almost impossible to win. But you know, you don't need to win the Cup. You just want to have a Cup run, win, win a few games, get a quarterfinal, get a semifinal, you never know. So, yeah, I just think the whole point of a competition is to be competitive. And if you have teams who are so much stronger than others in the division, the league isn't competitive and people are going to get bored. 